Now looking at the concept of tendon reflexes, which could be seen during neurological examination, or which you could actually try to elicit during um, neurological examination. For this concept, we get to look at the definition. We get to look at different areas in which you can actually what elicit this tendon reflexes. Then we get to look at the meaning. All right. So if you elicit the uh, tendon reflex, if there's an uh, abnormality, how you can be able to know. Okay, we'll also talk about that. All right. So most of the times during the examination, you see the examiner tapping the patient like this. Right. It's just to try to elicit these tendon reflexes. So let's kickstart our discussion. We said that what um, a deep tendon reflex is elicited by what rapidly tapping the tendon near its insertion. All right. You know the tendon actually. This tendon now will now join the patella. So you are tapping near to where the tendon will insert on the patella. Do you understand? All right. So a sharp tap with the tendon hammer does this well. Okay. So there's a special hammer for that. All right. But all too often, this is performed the flourish and with such force, the final gradations of the response are missed. So it's just a little tap, right? Little tap like that, right? So it's actually but better to employ a series of taps, starting with the most forceful and reducing the force with each successive tap until there is no response, okay? So the better way of doing this, you start with a greater tap, then you reduce it, you reduce it to a very minor tap, do you understand? So comparing the two sides in this way, we can pick up what fine differences showing that the reflex is diminished rather than absent, okay? So when you tap a patient, you don't only tap on the, the side that there's problem. You also tap on the side that there's what, no problem, so that you can compare the two, all right? So in the upper limb, we test for biceps. I guys say where we can um, test for tendon reflexes now. In the upper limb, we test for biceps, okay, triceps, and brachioradialis, right? Tendon reflexes. Then in the lower limb, we test for things like what? Patella reflex, actually tendon reflexes. Okay. So um still talking more on tendon reflexes so that what? These tendon reflexes are what? Monosynaptic segmental reflexes. That is, the reflex pathway takes what? A shortcut through the spinal cord at the segmental level, right? So depression or absence of the reflex signifies that there's an interruption of the pathway at the posterior nerve root. The anterior horn cell and the motor nerve root or the peripheral nerve. Do you understand? So it is actually what a reliable pointer to the segmental level of dysfunction, right? That's why they actually do these tendon reflexes. Thus, a depressed, a, a depressed or bicep jerk suggests that there's pressure on the fifth or sixth cervical nerve root, okay? While a depression in the ankle jerk signifies that there's a similar abnormality at the first sacral level, all right? So an unusual Briggs reflex on the other hand, is what characteristics of an upper motor neuron disorder, like what cerebral palsy, a stroke, or injury to the spinal cord. All right. So the lower motor neuron is uh, released. Okay. Sorry, the lower motor neuron is what released from the normal central inhibition, and there is an exaggerated response to the tendon stimulation. All right. So that's why we say that there's a Briggs reflex. Okay. So you can see this is basically what an upper um, limb deep tendon reflex, okay? But this one you actually protect the patient with your hand before you tap, okay? So this may actually manifest as an ankle clonus with a sharp upward jerk on the foot, all right? Okay. And this can actually cause a repetitive clonus of the foot. Similarly, a sharp downward push on the patella may actually what elicit patella clonus too. All right, coming. All 
All right. So I think, guys, that that's a different type of what tenor reflexes. I could actually what elicit during um, the neurological examination. Basically, looking at the definition, the types, and meaning.